YouTube. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for clicking that thumbnail. Another good day. You picked another good one. Check this spot out. It's a first for me up here, but we got a great killer spot right by the river. This is the North Saskatchewan River. The mountain backdrop. Sun's trying to peek through, but we got some pretty cool light popping through the clouds too. So I'm gonna try to get that drone up and get a, a few shots before sun uh, sunset. It's, um, it's already 4.30 here. And I just arrived, just found this spot. It's about, um, about a five hour drive from my place. So yeah, should be a good night. We're gonna do uh, campfire nachos in the Dutch oven, have a beer. We'll listen to some tunes. Enjoy this scenery. Trash Panda, it's getting popular. I couldn't find any. So what's the first crush? White IPA. It's a Calgary brew. <clears throat> High. A little high for my liking, for my uh, tolerance. Thank you. Battery's draining on this camera real tight, so I got to get it charged quick. And I'm waiting for some coals to get established in the base of the fire here. So we can get this ready to go in. I'm going to do nachos, tomatoes, green olives, onions, avocado, and some cheese, of course. Got some pre cooked ground chicken as well. Should be good. Hungry. Rain's held off pretty good. Just had a little drizzle. Got the drone up, had a drink.
Wind too, wind's been pretty kind, so that's good. We got the, the tent staked down anyway, just in case. Get this in. Want to broil up. Just put them all in, eh? And then we'll sit by the fire for a bit and enjoy. Put the tomatoes. Actually, I put the tomatoes in now and I'll put the avocado on last. And there's where we're at. our bed of coals going I'll throw this on but check in with you cool off a bit it's supposed to have an overnight low a uh, low no charge Mike overnight low tonight minus six Celsius something like that mmm those will do just fine <laughs> there's my timer Let those go a little long, actually. <laughs> Bottom layers, pretty crispy. Ooh. <laughs> this cast iron, man. It's a, it's a, it's a different animal. Oh yeah, look at that. Well done. Well done, Mike. Top layer is going to be good, though.
definitely way overdone. I mean, way overdone. Yeah, a little bit of finesse. This cast iron cooking, eh? We'll get better on the next one. Still good flavors. Killer setting. Coffee is made. I had a rough sleep, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna be honest. All right? I, my, um, my wood stove here, I bought some accessories for it. So I have, uh, it's not on there right now, but you might have saw it on last night. I had the, the little, um, this guy here with the elbow on it, the little platform, and then it comes off of there and 90s out. And I think what it was doing is it was choking, like it wasn't, there wasn't enough stack, uh, pull on the stack, and it was spitting smoke into the bloody tent the whole bloody night. Um, I just think it was restricted from maybe last time I was out and the fact that it's a 90, then a 45 out, <clears throat> I don't think is, uh, I don't think there's enough draw on that stack to, to get it pulling the smoke out. So I had to kind of reconfigure that in the middle of the night. Oh yeah, and look at what I did. I burnt my tent right there. Perfect. A little burn in the tent. Just noticed that. anyway I don't really care I'll deal with it I uh, <clears throat> it was a cold night <laughs> I needed the bloody heat so that's it for me I'm gonna uh, I got a bowl of oatmeal I'm gonna devour I'm gonna have my coffee get this thing packed up and maybe throw the drone up one time before I go <clears throat> Not a bad landscape, right? <clears throat> it's 8.30 this morning. I'm close. I'm near Nordegg, Alberta. <clears throat> it's a historic little kind of mining town, old mining town. So I'd like to uh, go through there on the way home. Maybe grab some footage there as well. You probably will have seen that footage by now already if you're watching this. So thanks for sticking with me, guys, especially uh, especially if you made it this long. Um, and if you have made it this long and you're not a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really uh, helps motivate me to... to to keep making these videos when I see new subscribers coming on I really do appreciate it so again thanks and uh, until next time we'll see you on the next one